Having grown up in Cornwall, I'm used to using some of the best, most beautiful seafood that this country has to offer. And obviously sustainability is hugely important with anyone using fish. Now a lot of people might think that a fish farm wouldn't be the best place to source sustainable produce. But I've come here to the River Test in Hampshire to have a look at a farm that makes sure that its trout is as good, if not even better, than the wild stuff. Hugo, we're here in the middle of the, the beautiful uh, River Test, world famous for trout fishing. Why is it that this river is such a perfect environment for these fish? It's probably the most famous trout river in the world, and as you can see, it's the most fantastic environment for the trout to grow. The rain falls on the local hills. It filters through the chalk into these aquifers that then feed the rivers. By the time the water comes out here, it's full of oxygen, it's very clear and it's very clean. I mean, it is literally crystal clear, isn't it? With trout, it's quite often known as like a muddy fish, isn't it, and a dirty, but you know, there isn't any much really. It's... No, well, I think, I mean, that is what's fantastic about, about these chalk, chalk stream trout is that, you know, they, they don't sit in mud, they, they don't sit still. This water flows at two tonnes a second. So they're always living in this fast current, so the fish are very healthy, they're fit. So how do you go from, from this to the actual farming process itself? The key here is that we, you know, we use this amazing water to grow the fish. We then put the water back in the same condition that we, we used it in the first place. In fact, if you want to find out more, I think we should go meet Pete. Yeah, let's go. Pete, this place is, I mean, it's, it's stunning here, especially on a day like today, there's just hundreds and hundreds of fish around. How does it all work? Basically we're trying to replicate how the fish would live in the wild. Um, so we're actually using the water from the river, but basically we only borrow it. We borrow it for a couple of hours, it comes through the fish farm, and then we look after it to make sure that it's best possible quality going back. And how long's the process from sort of, you know, small fry, the tiny fish, to get them all the way up to this size where they're ready to ship out? Averages, about two years. Within the whole farm, we've got fish from 10 grams up to our target size, which is about three kilos. Fish farms, on the whole, tend to get a, a bit of a bad reputation, but that's much more down to the, the practice that they use as opposed to fish farming as a concept. Is that right? Like most industries, some people do it well, some people do it less than well. And there are concerns over pollution, overuse of antibiotics and chemicals, and overcrowding. People trying to get as much fish out of a tiny area that, that, that they can. So I think all of those things have contributed to people thinking that fish farming is a, is a bad thing. What we do is best practice and the fish are looked after the best possible way we can. We are all about sustainability here. I mean, fish farming is the way to go forward. Aquaculture is, is generally very, very efficient. We can't keep taking from the wild, but we must grow the food for, for ever increasing population. This chalk stream beast has been cooking for half an hour. Just that smell of it is unbelievable when you open it like that. Oh, the colour of it and everything is just stunning. I mean, look at the way that just comes off the bone. It's so juicy as well, you know. Oh, it's honestly, it's beautiful. The clarity of the flavour, you know, there's no muddiness, there's no murkiness. It's fresh, clean. It's, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Matt, I know you're going to have been as into this as I am. It's an amazing product. I hope you've loved it as much as me.